Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game. Still not working. The next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game and then select manage then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now open the game folder and then find the game exe file. So let me check. So over here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply. Click on OK and then launch the game from here. So make a double click over here. So instead of launching the game from the Steam, you can try to launch the game from the game installation folder and then check. So the game is opening in my case. Now let me close the game. Now still you are facing the problem, then make a right click and then select properties. And then this time put a check on the box which says run this program over here and select Windows 8, hit apply and then click on OK. Still facing the problem, then again make a right click, select properties and this time put a check on select Windows 7 select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK and then check if that does not work. Again, put a check over here which says disable full screen optimization, apply, OK and then make a double click launch the game. Still not working in that case, you can uncheck all these boxes. So when you put a check, if it is not working, you can uncheck these boxes and then you can check and now you, you can hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to try D3, D11, DirectX 11 in launch option. So make a right click on the game and then select properties and in the launch option type in dash D3, D11 and then launch the game and then check still not working. Again make a right click select properties and this time type in dash DX11 and then launch the game and then check still not working in that case again make a right click select properties and this time type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working then go to properties once again and remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to the Installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to Allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third-party antivirus So allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using Windows security then go to the Windows settings and then go to Privacy and security if you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, you will have an option update and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app, browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86. Now open the Steam folder and then open the Steam Apps folder. So open Steam and then open Steam Apps folder and then open the Common folder and then open the Heads2 folder and then open the Shift folder and then select the game exe file and then click on Open. And check if there is any other exe's file or not you can go back and then check in different folder so that's the only exe file now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now click on system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings in the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then open the ship folder 
select this exe file not open open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so let me check so the game is already added in my case once the game is added now click on ok on the bottom and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's the geforce experience so select your product type and then select the right series so whichever is your series select your series in my case it's strategy series so select your series and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then select game ready driver it should be by default and then click on search now click on download and then click on download once again now once the download is complete you have to run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see the screen now click on agree and continue and then select custom select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the clean installation is done now you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game so make sure that you restart your computer after this and then restart your computer uh, and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then open the ship folder select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance and then click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok 
ओके अप्लाय ओके ओके ना रीस्टार्ट कंप्यूटर मेक शो दैट यू रीस्टार्ट कंप्यूटर आफ्टर दिस now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down and over here you can see x86 file and x64 file you have to download both x86 and x64 so click on x86 run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now download x64 file as well again click on it now run this exe file now again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install and let the installation complete now once both the installation are complete let it complete first once it is complete then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now still not working the next step is to unplug external devices from the computer so if you have these devices connected disconnected also if you have any extra controller connected to the computer dis disconnect additional controller also try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running you can close it from the task manager also if you have any overlay application running close it first of all disable steam overlay make a right click on the game and then select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game so turn it off also if you have any other overlay application running like if you have discord running you can close discord or if you have g4 experience running close it also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner riva tuner or any other overclocking application close all the overclocking application and then launch the game next step is to perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so first of all put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game also update your windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to up windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart try launching the game now the next step is to you can skip this step uh, you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game you can switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings so launch the game first if you are able to launch the game so go to options and then go to display now if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more now if this is set to full screen you can uncheck full screen and then switch to window mode now you can even try borderless if you want now if graphics quality if this is set to high you can set it to medium you can even go for low quality i will set it to medium now if graphics device is set to auto then in that case you can select your graphic card over here select your dedicated graphic card and then check the performance now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if you have installed the game to d drive or e drive in that case reinstall the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed in c drive in that case you can try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel